Hi, guys, welcome back to AppGeeker channel. Let's say you forgot your iPhone lock screen passcode and accidentally got yourself locked out of your own iPhone. This video is here to help you to bypass your iPhone passcode and regain the access. So, if you have entered wrong passcode on your iPhone so many times that it says iPhone unavailable or security lockout, then you may be locked out of your iPhone completely if you can't remember the correct passcode later. No matter what it is, here I'm going to show you how to bypass the iPhone lock screen and get access back in three different ways. Well, before we start, the most important I want to tell you is that, when your iPhone locks you out, the only option for you to access it when forgot passcode is to wipe everything and do a full factory reset so you can regain the access after that. Hopefully, you can restore your data from a latest backup if you backed up your iPhone recently. So if your iPhone is running the iOS 15.2 or higher iOS versions, then the Erase iPhone option on the lock screen will be easiest way for you to bypass your iPhone passcode and get into your device. In this way, you don't need anything else but your Apple ID password. And to get started, make sure your iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi or cellular network before it's got totally locked. And in case you can't remember your Apple ID password either, the second method iPhone Unlocker can help you to get out of a locked iPhone without using your passcode or Apple account. Alright, so when your iPhone is stuck on unavailable or security lockout screen and says try again in 15 minutes or above, you can easily find the Erase iPhone option on the lock screen if your iPhone is updated to iOS 15.2 or later. If not, turn to next method for more solutions. So, we just tap the Erase iPhone option from here, and as you guys can see, we'll go to this Erase All Content and Settings screen so we can confirm the Erase option to make it happen. So we go ahead and tap the Erase iPhone once again. To proceed, now we need to enter the Apple ID password here. This is the email I used to set up this iPhone, so now I just input the password to it. Then it's going to erase everything on my device and take my iPhone back to its factory settings. In this way, we're able to bypass the forgotten lock screen passcode and access this iPhone again. As you see, the lock screen is totally removed. And you can now set up your iPhone again and give it a new lock screen passcode. Make sure you create a new passcode that is easy for you to remember. And like I said, if your iPhone is not updated to iOS 15.2 or higher, then try this method. The all-in-one solution iPhone unlocker, it basically removes any lock screen passcode from your iPhone no matter what iOS version your iPhone is using. All you need is to connect your locked iPhone to your computer. So first, we need to get the iPhone unlocker on our computer. You can download it from appgeeker.com or just click the link I put in the video description below. Then we open it up. From the interface, select wipe passcode since we're gonna erase the lock screen passcode from your iPhone. Make it start. Next, time to connect the locked iPhone with computer. So connect it and follow the on-screen instruction to enable the recovery mode on your iPhone. You can click here and find your iPhone model, then follow the on-screen tips to force your iPhone into recovery mode. I'm using an iPhone 13 right here, so I just follow the first one. Here you can see, it's for iPhone 8 and later. OK, connect, then turn off the phone and press volume up, volume down, then keep holding the side button till the recovery mode screen appears. For other iPhone models, just follow the instructions right here. When you do it, your computer will be able to recognize the locked iPhone successfully. Now confirm your device information and go ahead. 
and you should see it's downloading the proper iOS firmware for your locked iPhone to reset. Wait for a short while, depending on your network condition. All right, when it's done, you can see here pops up an alert box. Like I said, no matter which way you select to remove the lock screen passcode, you'll have to erase everything and reset your iPhone to factory settings. So, we just enter 0000 and click the unlock to start it. Let it perform a factory reset on your iPhone. It may take a few minutes, and then your iPhone will reboot. The lockout screen passcode will be removed. You can set up your iPhone as a new phone and use a new lock screen passcode on it. And another way I'm going to show you is to use the Find My feature in your iCloud. If you have enabled Find My feature on your iPhone before you are locked out, then you can surely use it to bypass the screen passcode and get access back. And this, as the same, will clear everything and reset your iPhone to factory settings. All right, firstly, we're going to open a browser and visit iCloud.com. You can use your iPad, computer, or another iPhone. When you go to iCloud.com, you'll see a login window like this. So, now, input your Apple ID and password here to sign in. Make sure this is the same Apple account you used on the locked iPhone. Now, we're in. As you can see, here's the Find My logo. So, select it, and it will show you all your Apple devices that have enabled the Find My option. We simply click all devices at the top. And from this list, select the iPhone that needs to be unlocked. Then you can find the Erase iPhone option over here. Now, we select it to perform a full reset on the locked iPhone. Here, Apple will send you a verification code for security. Since your iPhone gets locked, the code will be sent to your other Apple device. When you receive it, enter the code here to confirm the Erase iPhone option. This way, the lock screen passcode will be wiped from your iPhone. You can get into your iPhone again when the erasing process finishes. Alright, so these are the top three ways to bypass iPhone lock screen when you forgot your passcode. If this video helped, please give us a like and share it with anyone who may need this. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.